Hello, my name is Choa, and I'll introduce the Bank of Korea Museum. The Bank of Korea Museum was opened on June 12, 2001 to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the Bank of Korea. Since its opening, the Money Museum has been loved by many people as a central bank museum representing Korea in downtown Seoul. Now, the Money Museum has begun to leap into an international museum where not only Koreans but also foreigners naturally visit. Until now, the Money Museum has consistently reorganized the exhibition space and held various currency and art exhibitions to provide visitors with a better opportunity to enjoy culture. Bank of Korea Museum is National Important Cultural Heritage Historic Site number 280. The, the, historical mu the historic museum building, which has been with the history of Korean Finland as an early modern architecture in Korea, was designated as historic site number 280 in 1981, as previously stated. Construction began in 1907 for use by Japan's Chil Bank, but in 1909, the Bank of Korea was established as the central bank of the Korean Empire and was to be used as the Bank of Korea building after its completion. However, the Bank of Korea was renamed the Bank of Korea in Japanese colonial era, and after the building was completed in 1912, it was used as the headquarters building of Bank of Korea. To tell you one interesting fact here, this is the first building in Korea where elevators were installed. On June 12, 1950, when the Bank of Korea was founded as the Central Bank of Korea, it became the headquarters building of the Bank of Korea and the interior was almost destroyed during the Korean War, but it was restored in 1958. After the construction of Bank of Korea's new building was completed in 1987, the circular restoration work has, was started. The exterior wall was restored as before, but the interior was changed to perform its function as a modern building, such as finishing with marble and was completed in 18, 1989. Since then, it has been opened as a currency museum to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the Bank of Korea in 2001. Thank you. The Bank of Korea is an institution that establishes currency issuance and monetary credit policies in Korea and promotes price stability and financial stability through changes in currency volume and interest rates. Monetary credit policy is a policy in which the central bank, which is authorized to issue money, keeps the amount of money or interest rates at an appropriate level. The primary objective of the monetary and credit policy is to stabilize the value of money issued by the bank, namely prices. If the Bank of Korea adjusts its key interest rate, the national economy will be affected through various channels, including changing market interest rates and currency volumes. This museum introduces the establishment and development of the central bank in detail, according to the process of currency transformation. Hello, my name is Park so Lin, and today I am going to tell you about the Sangpyeong Tongbo. Sangpyeong Tongbo is the name of the money which was made in the Joseon Dynasty. It was first made in 1633 when Inju was king. Uh, many officials uh, wanted uh, to make money because it would help the economy of Joseon. They put the Sangpyeongcheong and, and they started to use Sangpyeongdongbo, but it was stopped in 1678. From then, a lot of uh, first uh, from them, uh, from then, uh, first was Tangyeon, and then Tangyeon and Tangwoon was made, made after Sangpyeongdongbo, to be used as money in the Joseon economy. In eighteen sixty six, when Gojong was king, Hyunseon Daewangun made Dangbaekjeon to uh, Dangbaekjeon to make more money because he, because he, as you probably know, he is, uh, he uh, rebuilt Gwangwon rebuilt Gyeongbokgung so he needed money and therefore he made Dangbaekjeon and because of this Joseon had an infl inflation. Uh, Dangbaekjeon was uh, Sangpyeongdongbo's five times or six times expensive so the all of the items became very expensive so the so many people uh, became bankrupt. In 1894 uh, the original 
money became money stopped and in 1904 the in 1904 they uh stopped making sangpyeong tongbu and from and now we can't actually know what sangpyeong tongbu and other money was like except for dangbaekjeon because it is not because there is no uh, record of it uh, so sangpyeong tongbu has a has a meaning that it is one of the first uh, joseon money thank you for listening Hello everyone, my name is Shin jung -in. Today I want to talk about the part, what is a museum? You might have heard about the introduction of a museum in Seoul today, which is the Money Museum. Then what actually is a museum? Many of you watching this video might have gone to the museum once in your life. In the museum, you might have seen introductions about the past or an important historical event. You also might have seen a history of one thing, such as clothes, music, or each country's money. In the museum, there are a lot of things. There is a lot of antiquity, explanation, and more. The meaning of museum is an agency that collects, preserves, and does research about art, culture, history, and science. Museum collects and stores important historical heritage and shows them to people with explanations. Almost all of the big museums are located in the capital city or famous cities. The smaller ones were the museum that shows the local culture or in smaller cities or in the countryside. Also, museums provide many different events and experiences for both children and adults. Nowadays, there are some online museums too. Museums usually do not require revenue and we can go see some of the museums for free. Nowadays, museums provide a lot of information for people and give important heritage and inform our historical event to future generations. Also, museums have a role to make the area more famous to tourists and make them know that area well. Thank you.